Here we look at the difference between going over a ball screen and going under it. Yogi Ferrell playing defense on Trey Burke. Indiana was pretty successful in putting two or three different guys on Burke. They had Sheehy on him, who's an athletic six foot five, and later they'll put Old Depot on him. They didn't put Jordan Hulls on him at all. They hid Jordan Hulls on Stauskas. Stauskas is pretty good. Michigan maybe should have attacked Hulls more with Stauskas, but uh, here we go with uh, ball screen. Yogi Ferrell's going to go under the screen, and if you go under the screen, Trey Burke, you're leaving the window open him for, to get a jump shot. Now, Burke misses this shot, but here's Farrell making a decision to go under it. He goes, as we look at it, he goes to the left of the screen, or McGarry. I'm talking about going to the right of it to go over the screen. He's got some help here, but they're going under it to shut off the penetration. But that's a jump shot for, for, for Burke. If you go under a screen, he's pulling up with a three. He misses this shot, but that's a decision you have to make. You're going to go under that screen or over it. Now, sometimes it might be in the game plan, we're going over it, but it, sometimes it might happen so quickly, bang, bang, that the guy guarding the ball might forget, might not know where his center is, might not know where his help is. But basically, point is here, if you go under it, it's a shot. And this is basic stuff. I mean, that's the thing with Michigan. They're so tough to defend. They run one ball screen, and they get it for them something that's a good shot. It's not like they're setting a bunch of intricate screens away from the ball and running any kind of intricate X's and O's. They run very, very simple stuff, but because of the talent level, they get shots that are good shots for them. And he's got a little room under the screen. Jump shot for Burke. Misses it.